Hi there, I'm Pico444 and welcome back to motherfucking Let's Play Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past! Alright, uh, last time my sound recorder cut out at exactly 10 minutes and didn't even let me know when it was up, so I just kept going, had no idea, because I've never recorded for uh, longer than 10 minutes before, because obviously I've never done an LP before. So, uh, yeah, sorry about that, I definitely won't let that happen again, but, uh, basically, I just picked up a heart and read that dialogue that said you need to get the Master Sword so you can kill Anagadin him, 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 and, uh, that basically, uh, yeah, that's basically all it was, and I got that heart, and now I'm heading to the Lost Woods. This isn't where you're supposed to go, but, uh, I just need to pick up some stuff on my way, like a piece of heart, collect four of them, make a new heart container, it's like the most basic Zelda, I don't know, basic Zelda knowledge indicates that heart pieces make a new heart container, but yeah, basically I'm gonna be going around collecting a few heart pieces, this uh, part, collecting a mushroom that smells like rotten fruit and I can give it to anyone, but no one really wants it yet. Someone will, but uh, we can't quite get there yet. And uh, basically get a few more heart pieces, talk to an old lady, talk to a small child with blue hair, and uh, start making our way to where we need to go. So yeah. Basically, the... Uh, oh, crap. Ah! Basically, the old guy in the uh, sanctuary tells you to come find Saraslala, Shlala, and uh, I'm right where I need to be. So you go inside, and of course, it's an old lady and not who you need to talk to. The elder, oh, no one has seen him since the wizard became collecting vision the victims. <laughs> What, Master Sword? Well, I don't remember the details exactly, but dot dot dot. Long ago, a prosperous people known as the Hylia, 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 inhabited this land. Legends tell of many treasures that the Hylia hid throughout the land. The Master Sword, a mighty blade forged against those evil hearts, is one of them. People say it is now sleeping within the de deep in the forest. Duh. Do you understand the legend? Yes. <laughs> anyway, look for the elder. There must be someone in the village who knows where he is. You take care now, Pico. Oh, I will. Thank you. I appreciate it. So, of course, she's sitting in the elder's house for no reason. She doesn't know where he is. So, we're supposed to look around the village, so I'm gonna start by looking down this hole. Seems like a likely place to find out where the elder is. Oh, look! Bombs! Just hanging around. That's safe. But yeah. Of course, bomb the wall. Pick up some rupees. I remember when I played this when I was like five and I found this like hole. I thought it was so tight. Like, no one else in the world knew about this hole and I was the very first person to find it and it was my secret hole. That sounded really perverted. But anyway, I thought it was really tight and it's still really tight. That's why I like this game so much is because I, uh. Because no one else I really knew had ever played it except my brother and he's not really into video games so like I was basically the only person I knew that ever played it and I really still am that I know personally but uh yeah this game's just great and this is the uh the old thieves hideout so of course there's gonna be lots of treasures and goodies and I believe if you push these the wrong way they don't go back to their original position so you have to be sure when you do it to uh, push them the right way the first time. So if you're not quite sure on how to do it, then make sure you uh, plan it out before you move any of them, because you might uh, end up screwing yourself sideways and not being able to pick up 80 rupees and only get these blue rupees, which are peasant change. So that's all that's here, so I can work my way back on up. Head on back out to the village. Head down some steps, and this guy in the turban has something very important to give us. You, sir! Have you been going through life without one of my hold anything bottles? Well, step right up and make it your life complete. I've got one on sale now for the low, low price of 100 rupees. Swindler and a gambler and a skank. 
Goodbye, thanks a lot. Now hold it above your head for the whole world to see, okay? Alright. It's good for business. Okay, here it is. Everyone sees it. It's a magic bottle. You can store an item inside, like fairies, and potions, and bees. That's pretty much it. But yeah, this guy runs away, and he has a weird witch's hat on for no reason. But then again, I have a, a green hat with orange and pink trim, or my hair's pink. I don't know. They make Link look really weird in this game. But yeah, you go in the back of the, uh, the pub here, and there's another magic bottle. I can store more items like fairies, potions, and bees, and that's it. So, uh, oh, where am I going now? Okay. If you go straight up from there, you go into a sleeping child's house, and you walk up to him, he opens his eyes, and he says, I can't go out because I'm sick, cough, cough, dot, dot, dot. People say I caught this cold from evil air that is coming down off the mountain. Sniff, sniff. This is my bug catching net. I'll use it when I'm better, but for now I'll lend it to you. I've never met this kid in my life, and he just straight up gives me his bug catching net, and I, I, I didn't even say a word to him, and then I left. Like, Link's a bit of a tool, but you know, he saves the world, so it's tight. Now, this kid with the blue hair down in the corner is the one you want to talk to. Hey, Pico, are you elder? Are you talking about the grandpa? Okay, but don't tell any of the bad people about this. He's hiding in the palace past the castle. I'll mark the spot on your map. Here you are. So, if you look, you go past the castle to the what? Past the castle. Past the castle to the west, and there's a small little hut in the foothills with an X on it, so uh, that's where we're going. But, first off, I'm going to take one more detour. Head on down south. And we make our way down the cliff, and we move on down the cliff, and we're moving down some more cliffs to this house right here. And in this house is going to be a large man on the right that is mad at his smaller man brother on the left side so he made a bombable wall in the middle and I'm sure he's very upset now because I just destroyed his hard work and frustration if you reach the goal within 15 seconds we will give him some good race it go I'm going alright obstacle course time we're moving on through very simple path go on up here there's a sign take some time to read it if you have enough time to read the sign you should go to the goal immediately okay let's do that this try, your time was zero zero minutes, zero nine seconds. You qualified, congratulations. I present you with a piece of heart. And getting this piece of heart is like the most frustrating thing in the world, because if you try and go past him, you can get stuck, and then if you try and go too far down, you jump off and you have to do the whole thing over again. But luckily, I'm amazing at this game, so that didn't happen. That was our fourth heart piece, so we get a new heart container. That's five hearts total, and we're ready to move our asses on to the first palace. So, uh, or actually to Shalar Shalarsh. Some blue bastards. Take care of them. Screw you, I don't, I don't even know, I don't even want to talk to you right now, so I'm just gonna keep going. You too. I don't like blue people. Blue people piss me off. I'm racist against blue people. But yeah. Keep moving westwards. Damn, blue people? Gosh out of here. And um, if you noticed a small change in my rupee count at some random point in time, it's because my sound recorder glitched and I had to uh, go back to that point and start again, so I have like eight more rupees or something like that. It's not a big deal. But yeah, I didn't glitch the game and get more rupees just from changing scenes. It's just I needed to redo it, but uh, yeah, we're moving into uh, Shalarsha Lalarsh, Saras Loraz, a uh, little hut here, and this is where we're going to stop the video this time, so uh, thank you for watching, and I will see you later.